This video will go over registration and group formation for new student housing. Registration for housing starts on April 9th. You'll have to do a few things to successfully sign up for housing. Here's how to log into the housing portal. Head to ResLife's webpage for new student housing and click on the registration and group formation link. This will bring you to a web page where you can directly log into the portal. Once you've logged in, you can start the new student housing application right from there. Read and agree to the housing agreement. Provide emergency contact information. Choose your housing type that's either housing type 1, housing based on gender identity, or type 2, which is gender inclusive housing. Consider if you're interested in any of our specialty housing options or learning communities, such as chem-free or quiet living. And if you are, submit the necessary agreements and or applications. Complete your housing profile. Decide if you're signing up as an individual, with a roommate, or as part of a group. If you're signing up with other students, Use the roommate search and group formation tools in the portal to identify potential roommates and form groups. If you're signing up as an individual, you do not need to participate in group formation. Here's how to form a group. All the members of the group must have registered for housing by logging into the housing portal and agreeing to the university housing agreement. The group must choose a group leader. This group leader will create the group in the housing portal and invite the other students to join the group. The group leader will also be responsible for housing everyone in the group. All the group members must accept the invitation to join the group. If you form a group and then change your plans, the group leader can delete the group, and individuals can also leave the group at any time. Once you form or join a group, you won't be visible anymore to other students searching for roommates in the portal. The group leader can be changed at any point prior to room selection. And for room selection, you'll want to make the person with the earliest time slot the group leader. Keep in mind that forming a group does not guarantee that you'll find vacant space that will match your group size during room selection. If you do opt to sign up as part of a group, make sure your group communicates with each other that everyone's in agreement about your housing plan and also that you have backup plans in the event that your group needs to split up or consider another area during room selection. For group sizes, you can form a group of two to six people. If a group doesn't fill a space, meaning a flat or a suite, their remaining vacancies are gonna be available for selection by other students. Regardless of the group size, students are not permitted to contact others to request someone move or not select a particular space. If you do engage in this behavior, you'll be reassigned to a different space and are not guaranteed to be reassigned with your roommate or group or within your preferred community. We look forward to welcoming you to Binghamton University. If you have any questions, feel free to email Residential Life at reslife at binghamton.edu.